Black Road Matters Through the World. I met Mr. Monty coming at you live and direct. Chillaxing. Catch me in my relaxation mode. Jesse Smullett. We're going to call him what he is officially today. Jesse Smullett is officially what the 5% nation used to call a black devil. And that's exactly what he is. His lie has been dissected, exposed. His handlers are running for cover. And on a day with 46, gematria and numerology, he's being sacrificed. Remember, 46 is a sacrifice number. So now Jesse's being sacrificed as they totally rip apart his story. Remember, I, remember I talked about the whole story made sense if the brothers had jumped him over something totally different. But now we got the mega hat piece that's being uh, brought into question the news now is being brought into question and i think more people than jesse smullett need to be brought into question at this point that whole little situation with monique and steve harvey and the things that monique has said about lee daniels need to be brought in perspective the things that damon dash has said about lee daniels need to be brought into perspective and he also needs to join that list of elite black devils he is a worthless piece of crap he works for the elite. He is their lapdog as well as Jesse Smullett. His show should be banned and boycotted. And we, should not, and we should stop supporting people like this because these are the people who spend time trying to work an agenda that is designed to rip the world apart. So when, when Trump talks about the wall sometimes, sometimes we need to stop thinking about this physical wall when we talk about him being the president that builds the wall because the walls is being built to divide us as a nation inside of our country. It's not really a physical wall. It's really the, the hate rhetoric. We got all this blackface crap. We got Jesse Smollett running around here talking about people that were trying to lynch him and Caucasian Americans were trying to attack him when, when now it, suddenly it didn't happen. That is the wall that's being created and being created not by both sides. You got Caucasian and African Americans in you know, the position of being stars with the media backing them who are creating this wall. And it's up to us to tear it down. And that's what we did as a social a social networking community where people got on social media and we destroyed the wall. We tore it down. We exposed Jesse Smollett for what he was, a damn liar. And it's time that we did that to everyone who tries to keep pushing this hateful agenda to us. We're going to show them that love wins. We're not going to play your hate games. And Jesse Smullett is a young man who needs to be ashamed of himself because he sold his soul because he wanted to be famous. And I hope we tear his soul apart and that we rebuild him as a positive African-American source. But his soul needs to be torn apart at this time. He needs to be taught that when you sell your soul to these people, they don't care anything about you. And now they're tossing him to the wolves. And the wolves are going to ravish because now he's been exposed as a liar. And Lee Daniels is a liar too and needs to be exposed. You need to pay Dame Dash his money because you took that young man's money and you didn't pay that boy. And you're a piece of crap for that. Now, if that had been somebody else, one of your elite handlers, you would have paid him immediately. But this brother helps you with his, his, your career and you don't get a man his money back. On the streets, you would have been punished for that. The Ben rest retribution for that, but the man didn't even take that course. He could have took that course with your lead. You know the rules. It's time we start exposing people in our own culture for who they are. Elite lap dogs and black devils. And it's time we start tossing these people into the fire because they're the problem with the world right now. They're the problem with why we can't change things because they continue to work with these people to try to pass agendas to hold us back. We're tired of the political agendas. We're tired of the religious agendas. We're tired of these stars getting on TV. They BS agendas just so they can win awards. We're tired of the music business industry with the Cardi B's and garbage rappers like 21 Savage who we can care less. Deport that piece of trash. He needs to get deported. He's a garbage rapper. He's messing up hip hop and he needs to go wherever the hell back he is. We're tired of the Takashi 619, 1012s making the Hispanic community look bad. We're getting tired of it and we're about to tear your program apart. Mr. Maki, Back Row Ministry, you want a war? We're going to give you a war. Peace. <laughs>